How's it going, Short Kings? The Dwarves are back for Week 7 at Louisiana Tech. As we try to dial in this difficulty for the series, I've gone ahead and made a couple more adjustments, mostly to the CPU, making them a little bit better. So we've increased uh, a lot of blocking, wide receiver catching, quarterback accuracy, interceptions, all sorts of defense and uh, some field goal accuracy as well and in our recruiting we've got 500 points to allocate this week so not a whole lot go ahead and let's uh let's go by our biggest lead see what we got going there so a lot of players that we've got big leads with that we haven't offered scholarships to so we're just gonna offer scholarships to a lot of these guys uh they're not gonna be the best but just trying to sign 25 uh, recruits is going to be very useful for us. Well, just offering scholarships has left us with 50 points. So that means nine guys got scholarship offers. We got 10 guys. We got to set up for visits. I tend to like to schedule my visits later in the season and against ranked opponents with the ranked opponents being first. That's free XP on the board. So we're going to send pretty much everybody that we can to this Western Kentucky game. And with our last 50 points, let's go ahead and scout Cedric Lee. He got an extra overall, so you know, maybe looking a little bit better. Huge lead. And, you know, actually, now that I think about it, these guys that we have giant leads with, we don't even need to be putting max points into them. We're going to just bring a whole lot of points back. And, you know, if teams start to claw their way back into the races, then we'll go gung-ho again. That'll allow us to throw points some of these uh, other players that we're not too far off on. Jermaine Preston, the athletes, and Danny Banks, the kicker, are going to commit elsewhere, so we'll take them off the board and then go ahead and find two more players to replace them. We're going to go ahead and pull out that low lock cheese to find our guys. Kind of looking for people who haven't been scouted at all and maybe don't have terrible overalls. This guy, 27 uh, oh, he's a Juco guy. That makes sense. 27% uh, committed. But with the 66 overall, you know what? Why not? Put Chad Weldon on the board. He can become the Alpha Dwarf. We'll throw Kyle Williams the corner on there as well. That'll be it for our recruiting. We'll just take a quick look at how the top classes are going so far. Uh, Oklahoma has signed the first five-star of the season. And they're currently sitting at the best uh, class so far with Pitt surprisingly sitting at number two. Three four stars already for the Panthers. Taking a quick look at the stats before this game. No Herb Street's on our side again. Uh, but just like last week against the Giraffes, Louisiana Tech kind of edges us out in, in most of the categories. Um, we're minus seven in the turnover differential. They're plus two. Uh, but our rush defense hopefully holds out. Holding our opponents to 74.8 rushing yards per game. That's pretty staggering. Louisiana Tech, wow, they have won close games. This might be one of the closest slates I've ever seen. Five games in. A win at NC State in overtime. A win against, by one against Army. An overtime loss to Kansas. A five-point win at UAB. And a three-point win against UTEP. Let's hope that we have a, a nice wide margin of victory here. We're going to go with the nice light, you know, as close as we can get to Stormtrooper uniforms. We can see that slight edge, 75 overall for Louisiana Tech, with the bigger uh, edge on the offense up at 77 and then a 75 defense. They've got some recruits visiting this week, so we're going to try to spoil that trip, a punter and a fullback. Their top players, high 89s overall, free safety, wide receiver, and a kicker. And they've got a right outside linebacker. He's going to be out for pretty much the rest of the season. Eight-week injury, and it's uh, week seven right now. Ooh, it's a rainy game here in Louisiana. This, this could spell disaster. We've been passing it more than we were hoping. It's a pretty packed stands there. Surprising amount of fans coming out from Maine. This is a long trip. Free game show is finished. We're going to go ahead with tails on this coin toss, and we're going to win. 
So we're going to do what the AI typically chooses to do and kick the ball off. We've made our adjustments and with that three mile an hour crosswind in this pouring rain, we're going to boot the ball off and start this one. Ball is not going to make it to the end zone. Can I get there with Ferris? No, but the rest of the dwarves show up. And Ryan Higgins will come out. Senior quarterback. He's I had a mediocre game. Immediately, we're going to just come out in the zone and hope that we can stop them. Curious to see what they decide to go with, with their offense. It's going to be a play action on first down. Quarterback's actually scrambling, and he just ran into the line and stumbled backwards a few yards. So it's supposedly a loss of four, although I didn't feel like we really did anything. Switch some things up here. Go with the cover two buck. Doesn't worry quite as much about the deep ball, and we'll get the short little pass. Third and 11, they're not even at the original line of scrimmage. Might be a big fan of this play call. On third down. Uh, guys are kind of open. That's a strip sack. Lineman's going to pick it up. He breaks a tackle, but that's going to be a loss of seven. The pressure seemed to have come out of nowhere. I thought I was getting beat deep, but it's key on Wilcox. He's so small. <laughs> he just got in there and knocks it away from Higgins. That'll force Louisiana Tech to punt it away from their own end zone, really. And maybe we have a chance. Nunez, he's got a couple of blocks, but I maybe didn't cut that the correct that direction upfield. I've wanted to establish a good running game these first couple of games. But it hasn't worked out all that well, so hopefully... We can just run him to death here. Tlaib Noel going for eight yards on that first down. We've got a halfback dive now. And, of course, I'm going to cut this to the edge. And, well, we broke a tackle, but backup was way too quick for us. Five yards still. Looking for the corner strike to Khalif James. And, oh, Richie Kirk. Oh, he must have got distracted by the cheerleaders because he threw it straight to him. Might be this wet weather because of the inaccuracy, so let's keep it on the ground as much as we can. Noel gets another five. These fans back on the hill are getting a little intimidating. They might attack us at any second. There's nothing holding them back. Uh, let's get outside the pocket with Richie, and oh, that's, oh, lucky. You know, Norton ran into somebody right as I decided to throw, and it kind of held him up, thankfully. Be able to get a little bit of separation and catch that ball for a first and goal. And try a nice traditional speed option. And Richie Kirk's got it. Completely untouched into the end zone. QB takes it for the rushing touchdown. And we're going to take a nice early lead here. Extra point is good. And number seven, Arizona, takes their first loss to an unranked USC. And that game was a blowout. They kick this one off. And they're going to be probably, yeah, they're going to be able to return this. question is, will the defense come out and just make some stops again? Nice 28-yard return there. The defense smothered these guys the last time they were out on the field. And it kind of looks like that might be what we get again. No. Ooh, they're going to get the first down, and I think maybe a face mask at the end of that. Well, that'll hurt. Not entirely sure why that play decided to be so rude to us. It'll be first and ten. They're going to the air again. Ooh, I got beat by my man. Thankfully, the quarterback scrambles. And he's still got seven yards. Ryan Higgins. Oof. Making me look like a fool. Might have to set up a quarterback spy. Although they're going to hand it off maybe for the first time. Jared Kraft, he got 12 yards. They're going to stick with this hurry up. On first down. Handing it off again. He's got the edge. He's going to break one tackle and then be tackled from behind. But it's a first and goal. And Louisiana Tech, man, they are moving quick on us. Especially with this hurry up. First and goal. Oh, I should have been there. He did a, did a good job there of cutting away from me. See if we can't stop the run. Quarterback keeps it. As slow as Ryan Higgins is, pretty much one went untouched into the end zone. This biggest hole of the game so far. 
That'll tie us up here. Seven apiece. We finally got some sliders dialed in, or is it still too easy? So we'll see if uh, maybe Nunez can take this back. Just a couple of blocks will spring us free, and oh, that's my fault. There's a flag down, so it'll be a clipping. Um, but I ran into the blocker there. Yep, there it is. That's going to send us back to our own 14. Still first down. Not a good thing. Well, we moved the ball pretty well last time we were on the field. Let's we'll see if we can keep that going. <laughs> Noel doing a lot of work to get a yard there. Let's try a slip screen on second and nine. We got it off. We've got a couple of blockers. Noel got to the edge and picked up the first down. 15-yard reception there. Going to the air on first down. We'll see if somebody's going to come open. I'm not really seeing it. Maybe B. We're heaving it up for Khalif James. He had a couple of steps. But again, Richie Kirk just misses his man. Threw that one out of bounds. That's probably a touchdown if it's an accurate pass. And well, thankfully, we got it to Noel. That time he broke a tackle. And then I think just maybe got tackled from the ground by the guy that he shoved off. Third and one. We're going to go ahead and run this one up the middle. Blocks are holding. And, oh, we didn't get it. Oh, I thought we had the first down. Talib rolled over the back of the guy who tackled him, but it wasn't enough. And we're going to go for this on fourth and inches. It's maybe a risky spot to do it. But I got to imagine we could get inches. Just perfect blocking for it. And there it is, six yards. Oh, we shouldn't have to be going for it on fourth down, though. Try a play action on this first down. And again, I'm going to get outside the pocket. And if we had a nice strong arm, we could have done something. I realize now that our A was wide open. I think that might have been Khalif James. But we'll be content with just not taking a sack. Second and ten. James dropped it. And now it's third and ten. You know, nobody on this team seems to want to help us out. We're going to throw up a deep ball and just hope for the best in this rain. And why not? Oh, that was way underthrown. James tried to make a comeback for it, but the safety did a good job deflecting it away. That'll be the end of the first quarter. All tied up. You know, it looked like we were going to be in control early. But our offense just not getting anything done going into the second Oh, this is probably a bad idea. Uh, YOLO. <laughs> We're going to try the fake punt. Plenty of time. And punter overthrew our guy. Surprising arm, to be honest. Brad Gaddis. Am I going to regret that later? Probably. Did I think it was a good idea in the moment? Not really. While I'm recording here, I just got a, a notification from YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and thank MF Wolf for the sub. Me and MF Wolf will know the true time of recording now. Oh, we gave them great field position. They get a nice completion there on the first play of this drive. And getting close to the red zone. It's another screen. Back-to-back -back plays now for another first down, and they're inside the red zone. Uh-oh. We're going to use her the defensive end on this play. See if we can get a little bit of pressure. It came, but they got the pass off. Thankfully, Benjamin's there to get the tackle out of bounds. Brings up uh, second and seven as these guys continue to move fast. We haven't seen a run in a few plays, and yeah, there's the option. Can we get there? Hamilton, bring the hit stick, and oh, well, we stood him up, but it wasn't enough. He was able to fall forward and get the first down. Going to bring a little bit of pressure here on first and goal. And they run. We hit him in the backfield, but he broke the tackle and gets into the end zone. Jared Kraft. That's a big play for Louisiana Tech for sure. No problem on the extra point. Bulldogs now have a seven point lead. Pretty early into this second quarter. Again, I'm going to be bringing almost all of these out with Nunez. 
Oh, huge block there from whoever 27 is. This has got to be a touchdown, right? Gene Nunez, one man to beat. He's going to miss the diving tackle. And, well, that's one way to uh, tie the game up. Gene Nunez takes it 102 yards to the house. They consider it a new record for the longest kick return in NCAA history, breaking his old record, believe it or not, of 99. And assuming we hit this extra point, we're going to be locked up at 14 apiece. Kicking this one off. Our defense didn't get a whole lot of time to rest. So hopefully they're able to find something. We came up with some sacks on the first drive. A strip sack on one of them and forced a punt early, and this will help. Holding on the receiving team. And now from inside their own 20-yard line, the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs are going to start to just... Oh, man, just pound away at our, at our defense. Jared Kraft is averaging over eight yards per play right now. we got to slow down the rushing. It's an interesting little play action. Quarterback's going to keep it. Let's still get eight yards. Second and two. Uh, Quarterback, well, it looks like he... Maybe forgot what he was doing. He must have taken a hit to the head because I don't know if he remembered he was playing football there. That looked like it was maybe some maximum football stuff. Maybe the good news for us here is that Bulldogs have not converted on third down yet. On third and five. They're going with a screen. And Benjamin there to stand him up for the rest of the gang. Gets the tackle. So fourth and seven. We're going to be able to just... Go back and get the punt. Maybe we can get Nunez to get another return. I'm telling you, maybe the best player on our team. He just, uh, he makes special teams a breeze. Nunez, oh, well, it, gosh, what are you doing to me, Nunez? I'm singing your praises and you're going to muff the punt. We almost get, turned that one over. Lucky to have the ball at the 30. Dwarfs are like trying to lose this one, it seems like. Almost every step of the way. Only get a yard there. I could have had more if I just got north earlier. I will one day connect on a deep downfield pass. The question is when. And it's, the answer is not today. <laughs> That's a 10-yard sack. I can't take those. Well, third and 18. I better heave another one up deep. There's a little bit of distance for Upshaw. And he, oh, he came down with it. But then the contact as he hit the ground knocked it loose would not believe the lack of ability from these wide receivers. They're going to get a good return here, too. Oh, Bulldogs starting from across the 50 on this drive. So both defenses there making a stand. We see the tech now. Ooh, getting me to bite on the, uh, the play action. <laughs> and then the quarterback just runs for it. Oh, he had my ankles broken. Second and four now. That's definitely going to be a handoff. Quarterback keeps it, though. And I've got to make a couple adjustments here. Ryan Higgins is running way too much on us. Problem with that is it means that I have to wait until there's a stoppage here. The hurry up prevents me from making the audibles that I want to do. Thankfully, Croft only gets a yard there. Two minutes left in the half. We're going to go with kind of that mid-draw. Lose two yards. That's, that's big for this defense. All right, they couldn't go in the hurry up for that, so we can make our adjustments. Now on third and 11, quarterback less likely to be able to scramble, but Haynes is just too short to go up and get that. Marcus Gaines, well, you know, catches the seventh completion in a row for Louisiana Tech. Man, he was taking a shot off balance, but... You've got that height advantage. It doesn't matter. They throw for the touchdown. That was third and long. The extra point will be good. 21-14 now. Maybe Nunez can just continue to bail us out. We won't have to see the offense for the rest of the game. A couple of blocks could have helped, but we didn't get any. So a minute and 30 and all our timeouts to go down the field and score. It is nice to know that we get the ball to start the third quarter. 
But that's not what I want to rely on. Even one deep. Can Norton come down with it? Oh, man. <laughs> Heart rate elevated a little bit there. Uh, couldn't come down with it, and that ball was getting bobbled around. Thankfully, it hit the turf, and let's just go with a short pass and try to move the football a little bit there. Norton does a good job grabbing it, but gets popped, and it's time for the hurry up. We're, we're starting to run out of time here. Let's try a slip screen on third and three. I don't want to use our timeouts if we don't have to. Got a couple of blockers in front of Talib Noel. He got the first down, broke a couple. Got eight, that'll stop the clock, but we're gonna stay in this hurry up. Somebody's bound to get open on one of these uh, deep bombs eventually. Oh, I don't think that's it. No, Khalif James. Oh, I thought he was there. Javier Woods, the safety gets there. Oh, Richie Kirk is now five at 13 passing. 55 seconds in the half and oh, Dane Upshaw. Just barely overthrown. I think he made a little contact with the safety and it slowed him down. At this point, I don't really know where the yards are going to come from. Although that's a nice little step. Dane Upshaw. No, it didn't get out thrown that time. Get a nice first down, but we got to continue to move. And this is oof, a risky one. Was trying to get rid of it to James, but we get hit as we're throwing. Thankfully, stops the clock. 45 seconds to go. We're just basically going to continue to throw up bombs. And, oh, nothing's going to be doing there. We got to scramble with Richie. And thankfully, we get 13 yards. Don't take a hit. We're able to get out of bounds. I'm going to try a read option on this first down. Try to get a few yards without having to throw. Because even a field goal could be nice. Richie, slide down there. We'll take our first time out. I'm telling you, one of these days, we will connect on one of these long bombs. We had whoever our ex was. I think that might have been Khalif James, but again, just getting hit as I'm throwing. Third and two now. Try to run it here on third down, just in case for the, the clock management, and good job from Noel. 25 seconds on the clock. Try to get this playoff. And... Oof! Oh, I'm, f I'm scared right now. <laughs> Another one that could have been picked. 19 seconds to this point. He phoned up another bomb. And oh, we took the sack. I got to take a time out there. Wow. The pressure seemed to come almost immediately there. And now we've got 15 seconds and one timeout to try to do something. We're going to oh, throw the route perfectly for Donnie Schaefer, but the ball was just misplaced. And the worst part about it all is that we're not in field goal range. So with 11 seconds left in the half and on fourth and 16, we're going to have to go for it. Our passing has not been good. We're going to try to pinpoint Schaefer. That's got to be picked. It's essentially an arm punt. Minus eight now in the turnover differential on the season. And four seconds for Louisiana Tech. That ball was severely underthrown. My guess is that they come out and run it here. They could take a shot downfield. Trips right. Yeah, it'll be put on the ground. Go to the half, down seven, but getting the ball. Oh, our passing was atrocious in that first half as we take a look at a few highlights. Brought to you by Nissan. <laughs> oh, what are we going to start with? Uh, let's see, a Richie Kirk touchdown run. And then a Higgins touchdown run. Both quarterbacks doing their job. That's the running back. There's a Gene Nunez kick return for a touchdown. And then just a too easy pass to Gaines. Ended with an interception. I feel like there was maybe a few more Louisiana Tech highlights there. We're just getting right into this third quarter. Nunez, we need something from you, man. The offense is suspect as all hell. Uh, you know, I hate to have to ask so much of my special teams, but only a 27-yard return there. The good part about the start of the new half is we don't have to worry about the time, which means we can put the ball on the ground a little bit. You know, pick up positive yards here and there. Keep handing this ball off as much as we can. Noel just had to outrun a man, and we're swerving all over the field, but we got 12 yards there. We'll run the read here on this first down. 
Richie Kirk's going to keep it. He's got a couple of blocks. Well, he made one move, but just too many Bulldogs in the area. Try a little play action on second and seven. And Upshaw. It's a nice six-yard catch. Gives us a third and short. We're only throwing at a 33% clip. So you better believe we'll put it on the ground on that third down. Good conversion from Tlaib. First and 10, 420 in the half, or sorry, in the quarter. We'll take three yards there. Now we'll go to the air on second and seven. As Irby checks in and there we go. We hit Khalif James. Oh, he broke a tackle. Our tackling, or our tackle breaking is pretty solid. Good 19 yard catch there for Khalif. Another first down, another carry for Noel, though he got slaughtered in the backfield that time. Now we'll try to go off tackle with him. See if he can make some of that up. There's decent blocking. We couldn't quite outrun everybody to the edge, but we got six yards. Now we're looking to run on third and six. Irby will come in. He's got the speed. The question is, did the trap block show up? No, it was too slow. Irby broke a tackle, but with no blocking, he's not going to be able to do anything. It's fourth and six. We're going to kick the field goal. Try to be safe. My f oh. oh, we barely snuck that over. I was going to say my field goal kicking has been suspect recently. Uh, mostly on Twitch, we've missed a few uh, angled kicks like that where we I normally don't. Forgot that our kicker's really weak and we just barely snuck it over. Four point game now as we'll kick it off. That's not a great one from Jolly. And oh my, wow. That was a hole up the middle. Thankfully it closed and they only got a 24 yard return. First down. I'm gonna just pressure the quarterback, yeah. Immediately give up my zones, but it gives us the first incompletion of the game. Seven of eight passing now. It's kind of ridiculous. Curious to see if maybe they put it on the ground now that their strategy of only throwing hasn't worked out. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was going to be a run, so I pressured it. Quarterback, it's not good with that. Almost guarantee you he would have found a man wide open if he would have just held on to it for a second. But we've got him in a third and ten now. And I'm expecting the pass this time. They go with a screen. Ooh, Ferris. Just absolutely leveled Jared Kraft in the backfield. They complete another pass, but it's fourth and 14 now. I'm going to be looking for Nunez to give us a good return. Bring Ferris back. We just saw him lay out the hit, so hopefully he can give us a good block as the lead man. Stick him out towards that edge, and Nunez, we just got to get to the corner. We're getting a couple of blocks here and there. You know, I got to take a 17-yard return. A touchdown is almost necessary in this position. So we're gonna hopefully march down the field and score. Time's starting to run thin. Under two minutes in the third and that's a solid first down carry. Second and three. Oh my gosh, we get hit in the backfield immediately. That defensive end immediately blew up the play. And forced to run the third and four here. Going with the stick. See if somebody gets open early and, oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. And, Almost ends up as an interception. I, I don't know. I was trying to throw it to whoever was on the out route. They were wide open along the edge, but it didn't work. And I think we got to go for this. We're certainly not about to hit a 60 yarder on the field goal, but if they're just going to leave Richie Kirk wide open, I'm, I would be stupid to take that off. I knew I should have slid down. I thought I could juke that man and get towards the edge. Richie Kirk in the rain is going to fumble it. And it's our second turnover. He picked up the yards for the first down, but couldn't hold on through the tackle. Well, it's now imperative that the defense gets a stop. We're almost in the fourth quarter, down a score. If they put up a touchdown on this drive, we are in trouble. All the time in the world for Higgins. I'm going to be trying to strip the quarterback when he runs like that. He only got four yards there. Gonna run it that time and we're gonna stretch it out. No problem, but of course. Oh, we're gonna get called for a face mask. It's Frank Benjamin getting called for that one. Just like that, they're across midfield. 
wide open man on the out route. Thankfully, he only got three yards. They're going to get at least one more playoff before the end of the half here. Decent coverage, and ooh, the pressure came. Ryan Higgins takes a seven-yard sack. That'll take us into the fourth quarter. Third and 14, it's a big chance for our defense. Down four, we need a touchdown to get back in this one. I'm surprised he was able to hold on to that. We'll see if we can win this Conference USA matchup here in the fourth. Hope I don't give anything stupid up with Frank Benjamin here. Third down. And they're going to go to the edge. Oh, man just dropped it. It's their first drop of the game, and it's fourth down. Pretty sure he was running out of bounds anyways, even if he had caught that one. But gives him a, a long ways to go, so they're not going to be able to go for it. And Nunez says, I'm just going to let this one bounce into the end zone. Ooh. Ends up being a wise decision, but that... Oh, got a decent bounce there. All righty, from the 20. We got to march down the field in the fourth here and score, and that's not going to be a good start. Oh, I think that was our center just getting pushed way back off the line. We'll lose three. Second and 13, we'll run another play that could potentially lose us a lot of yards in the screen. We get it off in time, Noel. He got a couple of blocks, and we're just beyond the original line of scrimmage with a third and nine. Now, if you would have told me after the way that that first quarter went, this was going to end up being a close, low-scoring game, I would have called you crazy. We're going to thread one into there to Norton. And it's fourth and inches. Again, I feel like I have to go for this. 4.51 left in the game. Since it is fourth and inches, we're going QB sneak. Uh, audible this. Make sure we go to the left side since that lineman's not quite as up on the line. And we'll see if Richie can get it. That looks like a first down and a little bit more. Oh, keep the drive alive and you know maybe a touchdown wins it. This might be the final drive for our offense. If we look at the total yardage there, neither team above 200 yards on the game. That's kind of telling, I think. Noel, great carry. Gives us a manageable second and three. I'd like to keep running it as much as possible here. We've only thrown one pick, but it could have been a lot worse. That's a good first down for us. Try one shot downfield. I don't like those deep safeties. They certainly certainly make that difficult. And ooh, we threaded that in there to AJ Norton. Continues to be what I think is our best receiver stats wise. This is a first down near field goal range, but again, we don't want a field goal. Well, it's gonna lose two yards. That's certainly not good. We'll try the play action here on second down. Fake it to Irby. And, oh, that's risky. Oh, man. I threw it to Norton because I thought Irby or uh, Schaefer was going to be covered. It's pretty much wrong on all accounts there. Now we've got a third and long. Noel, well, we'll, we'll look at him for the screen. But I don't expect to throw that ball. Pressure's coming. Pressure's coming. And I, wow. I didn't mean to throw that on the run. We might get lucky. There's going to be a pass interference. But it's on us. Are they going to decline it? That might be for the best. Fourth and 12. 251 in the game. I think we got to go for this. Oh, 12 seconds. I got to make sure I get this playoff. We're looking at the middle slant. Donnie Schaefer is my first look. He's open. And thank God we hit him and we get out of bounds inside the red zone. He so desperately needed that one, throwing like 40% on the day. We'll get a couple of yards there. We still can pick up one first down, which is huge. And we're essentially going all in on this drive. We're taking a lot of time off the clock, so we desperately need a touchdown here. And oh, Noel, he made a cut, and he's in for 10. Or he's in 10 yards for seven. <laughs> Oh, we're going to take the lead. It's two points now with the extra point. We can make it a field goal. At two minutes and 15 seconds and all their timeouts. Louisiana Tech. The Bulldogs are going to need to go down the field and score. Didn't really get a hold of that one, so they'll field it at the five. And just a mediocre return. We actually did a good job holding them. The defense so far this game seems to be pretty much all or nothing. Either we give up a lot very quickly 
We somehow shut these guys down. And right now it seems to be the former. Marcus Gaines, who already has a touchdown reception in this game, picked up that one on first down. And Benjamin missed that. Thankfully somebody else was there to make the tackle. I don't know who it was. They're going to stay with this hurry up. Get on, Benjamin. We can't use room to success. Second and six. Probably not going to see a whole lot of uh, running as the quarterback throws that one away. Third down. Curious to see what the CPU would do here if we get it to a fourth and six. A minute and 46 in all their timeouts. They might think that they can get the stop defensively. They handed it off. Oh, that's a risky play, and the stiff arm from Kraft is the reason it works out. There is absolutely no reason we should have given up six yards on the run. But it works out for Louisiana Tech. They live to see another day. They're going to go with another run, and that time it definitely doesn't work. Second and ten with the clock moving. This will surely be a pass. Kind of interesting throw there for Megan's. It looked like he was starting to scramble and just got rid of it, but throwing across the field off his back foot. Typically not going to make that throw. Third down. Big play here. They're five wide. And oh, we got lucky. Higgins hit his man, but he couldn't get the foot down inbound, so it's fourth and ten. And with a minute and twenty, you better believe the game is on the line here for the Bulldogs. We could maybe see a screen. But more than likely, they're going to go to the air. They're airing it out. Hamilton can't get the pick, but it doesn't matter. We get the deflection. The ball hits the or the yeah, the ball hits the turf. We're gonna get the ball. A minute and thirteen. With the three-point lead, they'll take their timeouts, but a first down will pretty much be the end of the game. Noel, ooh, he breaks a tackle. Well, there's the first down we needed, and we're quickly inside the 15. You know, I wouldn't be opposed to a touchdown here. Not only does it give us XP, but it gives us a lot of breathing room. Noel, oh, the juke didn't work. But one timeout left for Louisiana Tech. We are... At the seven yard line, definitely a good possibility of scoring. Noel, he is trying his hardest. He got that to the third and one. You know, even though they're out of timeouts, I'm probably gonna go for the touchdown at this point. Noel, ooh, never mind, hit in the backfield. Fourth and four. We'll, uh, we'll burn some clock here and you know what? Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna take a timeout here. That's fourth and four. Actually decided not to go to the, for the field goal. We'll take a timeout. One second left on the clock and go for this. No, a field goal really doesn't help us a whole lot. A touchdown would still win the game for Louisiana Tech. All it does is prevent overtime, really. So we're going to actually just go for the read option if we convert. If we pick up the first down, fine. Richie Kirk. Oh, what a broken tackle. Isn't able to get the first down, but we... Burn a few seconds off the clock, and now it's going to be really difficult for them to get down the field. 11 seconds and no timeouts, and they're out their own one-yard line. Uh, I'm actually going to bring Wilcox. Try to bring the pressure on my own with this defensive end. Maybe get a safety. Keon can't get in there. Oh, all the time in the world to throw. Got to get the tackle. No timeouts, so they're going to be in the hurry up with six seconds. Can we go prevent, maybe? Just back everybody out keep using this. They spike the ball with two seconds on the clock. Gonna get the prevents out. And you know, typically what I like to do is take one of these defensive ends and you know, run them back as an extra body to help tackle if need be. Ball is up and gonna be deflected down to the turf. Devin Lester does a good job there. Clock's gonna hit triple zeros. Somehow we keep winning. Every game, I'm making the sliders a little bit more difficult. And every game, we're, we're staying close. And, you know, I said that I didn't want this to be a close one. Every single game, I think, so far for Louisiana Tech has been within seven points. That's another three-point game, but if they take their second loss. We'll outlast the Bulldogs in Louisiana. And move to, what is that, 5-1 and one on the season? Put a decent amount of XP there. In fact, we're... Over halfway to our next level. Certainly 
isn't because of Richie Kirk. 77.9 passer rating on this game. <laughs> 12 of 29. That's a 41% completion rate. Only 150 yards. No touchdown and an interception. Took two sacks as well. And rushing the ball. He fumbled it once. But thankfully, Tlaib Noel was there. 26 carries. Solid 129 yards and a touchdown. Through the air. Tlaib had the most receptions, but I think for the maybe second, who knows, maybe even third week in a row, A.J. Norton's the receding, receiving leader. Four catches, 61 yards, no touchdowns, but a nice 15-yard average. I think the game ball has to go to Gene Nunez, though. The kick return for the touchdown, 102 yards, breaking his old record. Now, maybe him being five foot nine, one of the tallest players on the team, has something to do with it. Or maybe it's just because he has ridiculous speed, averaging almost 50 yards per kick return. And then, you know, throwing a nice 25 yards of uh, punt return yardage on top of that with only three attempts. Overall, low scoring game, not a whole lot of offense. We just barely put up over 300, and they just put up barely over 200 yards. Most of ours, or half of ours, I should say, actually came on the ground and uh, the other half came through the air they were what kind of a 60 40 split on that one not good on either team for third downs not really that good on fourth downs for either team either we go three of seven but below 50 percent i don't think it's good they did solid in the red zone we did okay should have been better but those two turnovers just not good we win the time of possession battle, but get hurt with the penalties, and I think in the end it kind of came down to that special teams play. Around the country, no upsets here. We see Western Arizona bouncing back with a good win against Fresno State. Got a little recruiting news here. Basically, nothing good. We're either getting locked out <laughs> or people are committing elsewhere, and unfortunately for us, Ron Mayo is going to go to Memphis. We move into the bye week at 5-1. Let's take a check real quick at ESPN. I don't care about anybody else in the polls other than this receiving votes. And I don't see a North Main State there. But in the media poll, any love the Dwarves? Doesn't look like it. Richie Kirk is the number 100 passer. <laughs> Only 687 passing yards. Tlaib Noel's top 35 in rushing. AJ Norton's 67th in receiving three guys uh top five on tackles but i discount that since the uh numbers are a lot higher than, than the simmed numbers kind of discount sacks as well but keon wilcox has five and is sitting at 11th still just one interception and it belongs to devin lester the kicking game donnell jolly has gotten himself up to a 38 yarder not quite top 100 in the country we're going to save this recruiting on the bye week for next episode. So we'll leave it at 5-1 and one and a lot of points to look forward to. If you haven't gotten sick of me yet, we're live pretty often throughout the week over on twitch.tv slash poonmaster69 where we play the Western Arizona University Giraffes. Basically the opposite of this team. A 6'7 or taller as opposed to this 5'9 and shorter. But that's going to do it for this episode. Guess we're just going to have to keep tweaking the sliders and making them harder and harder and harder until we start to lose games. Or maybe I'm just coming up clutch. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but I got nothing else to say. Thank you for watching to this point. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.